Hello, I am Dr. Karen Wolf, and for those of you that don't know me, I went to medical school in Sydney, Australia, and I was a GP down under until I moved to the United States and decided to be part of the wellness movement because I'm very passionate about the question, what creates health? And in so many dimensions, mind, body, and spirit. And today I'm just going to quickly address the question of, do we need supplements? It's a really important question. And when I was a GP, my answer was no. You could just eat healthy and exercise and you're good to go. Now I have changed my opinion in the 30 plus years that I've been in the wellness industry. And a lot of the reasons is because of our environment. And you think of the environment, not just in the air environment, if you live in a dense city with air pollution, but everything about our environment, the food environment, the way food has been genetically modified, the way you can go into supermarkets and there's so much processed food. So anything processed that goes into our body, our cells don't know or recognize that. So it exerts a immune response to that. So the environment is also the cleaning products that we use, the, all, all the antiseptic agents that we use that affects our microbiome. So, so many things about our environment has led me to really believe now that we do need a high quality supportive antioxidant and mineral to support all of our cellular processes. So. With that said, how do you choose? And the truth is 75% of the US population is on some kind of supplement. So as health coaches or people in the wellness movement, a important thing for us to do is to educate consumers about how to choose that high quality pharmaceutical grade antioxidant and mineral. Notice I don't just say multivitamin because it's more than that. It's antioxidant antioxidation because of the inflammatory response that our body is exerting in so many aspects of our environment and minerals because of the depletion of minerals in our food, in our soil, when we sweat. So that's what I like to call it, antioxidant and minerals. So let's educate consumers about which one to actually purchase or I'm sure they're going to the cheapest possible. And the cheapest possible may not just be cheap, but it actually might be damaging to our body. Because if you are taking supplements that have a lot of additives, because that's what companies do to cut corners, they put cheap additives that actually are like chemicals that go into our body and exert what? Another immune response. So you could actually be doing your body potentially more damage by taking some of these cheap over-the-counter products. So. What I always recommend is getting this guide. It's called the Comparative Guide to Nutritional Supplements. It's by Lyle McWilliam, and it was commissioned by the Canadian government. This is the sixth edition, and I always like to get the most latest edition. The Canadian government has very rigid requirements for supplements, unlike the United States. And by the way, so does Australia have rigid requirements. So one thing just to do, is to have a third party endorsement of some product that they're taking. And there are many third parties endorsements. This is just one. This is commissioned by the Canadian government. No supplement company was involved in creating this standard here. And it looks at over 1500 different companies. And this particular commission that gathered created their own blended standard to be able to compare one product against the other so that we're doing apples to apples. And I always love to educate about that blended standard because it, it's very complete. So it's the CAPPS standard. So every product in here is rated according to completeness of the product itself, potency, purity, safety, and absorbability. So the CAPPS stands for completeness, absorbability, does it actually get absorbed by the body? Potency, does it do what we want it to do? Purity, is it actually made with good high quality raw materials? And most important of all the S is safety. How safe is it? 
And then these products are rated from zero to five. And I've just highlighted here a product that a lot of people take, which is Kirkland. You just look up in alphabetical order the product that your client might be taking and you let them know how it's rated according to this standard. Kirkland, now there's a lot of different Kirkland brands. There's Kirkland Multi for Men, Multi for Women, Every Day. So I kind of look at all of the Kirkland ratings, there's four of them and they all, they all score one star out of five. This would not be a high quality pharmaceutical grade cellular nutrition supplement. So then even though it's cheap, perhaps for what we're looking for, which is good cellular nutrition, you might want to look at some of the companies that score four star or five star in this comparative guide. And you, I mean, some of them you won't be surprised, like Centrum has a lot of products in here and all of them are about one star, about the same as um, Kirkland. So another common one is one a day. Let's have a look at one a day, one a day. So one a day have one a day menopause, one a day men's, one a day women's, and they're pretty much all one star. You want a five star in this comparative guide. And whoever is sharing this video with you can certainly help you. They'll have one of these books and they can certainly look at those companies that score on that higher level. Now, this is a third part rating. So another third party is the PDR, the Physician Desk Reference. And the product partner that I choose to partner with because of the quality and safety and purity and absorbability actually has products in the physician desk reference, which of course you do not make the PDR unless you reach a certain standard of quality. And there are other third party references, the NSF, which is a sports association. They are very particular about what supplements athletes take. So if a product is rated in the, as an NSF certified, you know that that's also high quality. So you don't hear about this much, like how to decide if a supplement is at that pharmaceutical grade cellular quality that we want for what we're actually wanting in that supplement, which is to activate the cellular processes of our body for optimal health and longevity. So these are called third party references. Another one is consumerlab.com. Now that's often a paid subscription. So if you're in the wellness industry, you probably might subscribe to Consumer Lab because it's a very helpful resource, not just for supplements, but also for herbal products. So all I wanna do is to educate and awaken people. Yes, they're taking supplements, but not only are many taking cheap ones, but they're taking ones that might have chemical additives that might be dangerous to cellular processes. So I hope this has given you some food for thought, so to speak for you to really think about, okay, how can I reach out to someone I know and trust, maybe a health coach or a health practitioner that has this guide that can guide me into what high quality nutritional supplements are best for me. So until next time, this is Dr. Karen Wolf sharing you with you as much health information as I can possibly share to help you with your own health and longevity. Bye for now.